right, welcome everybody to another episode of Carborn from Mars. Uh, I'm Nate, the main guy. Uh, Going to play a solo today, uh, and uh, welcome to those uh, that are already on the stream. So let's check out what we got here. Let's throw in a high GL, and uh, see what we got. So we got Saturn Systems and Inventrix. And Saturn System is pretty good with um, optimal arrow breaking and mining rights. And also Beam as an initial Jovian. No multipliers to make it really good, but we also got Media Group, which means that all the events could just be really good for us. I kind of like that. Maybe just go um, mining rights, optimal arrow breaking, media group, beam, and then just try and set up a uh, kind of try and set up a bunch of events. We could also take acquired company. It's pretty good on turn one. Um, this would be 12, so this would cost us, we'd be down to 30 credits. Yeah, I think we can afford acquired company as well. And then just basically take every event we can. That's gonna be fun. I don't know if it's gonna be good, but it'll be fun. Um, we'll skip everything else. Viral Hanser is pretty good, but not what we want. All right, this should be a fun game. We're playing Ecoline and Tharsis. So let's take a look here. Definitely wanna get Acquired Company and Mining Rights down. Um, I'm going to take the Pavanus Mon spot just because uh, I want to discourage the, uh, or at least make this less enticing for the Tharsis player. And we got two ground game people, so that's good. They, they can fight over ground game, and I'll just go for space events. Um, also, the space event strategy could be very good if uh, if it, if I can hit a bunch of their plants. So, how much effective cash will I have next turn? Yeah, I don't like Eco Line very much, so I'm gonna I'm gonna want to play these before any events. That's thirteen. I'm gonna have three titanium next turn. That'd be nine and eight is seventeen. So I'll have four plus twenty. I don't know if I spelled that right, but <laughs> I do. I love Japan. Um, all right. Rover construction. That seems like a good play right before Tharsh is going to drop their city. Interesting. Okay, so Ecoline uh, dropping a city down, going to compete with Tharsis for mayor. Oh, shoot. I thought this was Tharsis, but it's Helion. Okay. Um, I guess like the, it always displays Tharsis when the people are thinking. I think I mistook that for, uh, for what the guy was actually going to play. All right, so next turn, basically, I just want to prioritize any event, and space events are just insane for me right now with six cash back on every one. Ice Asteroid. That's a good one. Would have loved to have taken that one. Um, it takes all the production bonuses. It's a good play for Helion. 
solar power. So the cards are still out there, which is that might actually be more valuable for us at this point anyway, because we just want to stack our hand with events. I'm kind of at this point with this game where I'm, I'm more into like trying to just make these combo strategies work. They, it doesn't always pan out, but it's so fun to, to try it. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, no space events, uh, but Phobos Space Haven is great for us. It's just, it's a titanium production, which we're gonna want. It's a city, um, which, you know, we could potentially compete for mayor if we also got uh, Ganymede Colony. Okay, towing a comet, perfect space event. That's exactly what we want. I'm definitely gonna take that one too. He's ready to make a plant already. And I think I'm just gonna try and get um Phobo Space Haven down this turn. Okay, interesting. I don't think I'm gonna take Plantation. I will take, I actually will take Fish though because I might be able to stockpile some some things that put animals on there. It's a good way for a space strategy that's not gonna score a lot of points on the ground to, to get some additional points in hand. There's also a few different types of cards that are space events that put animals on cards that would be pretty good. So I'm gonna take this one for sure, this one for sure. Okay, so I wanna I wanna get this one down. Um, so I wanna have 25 cash. This is gonna be, I should have plenty because I don't have to play optimal and media group this turn. But I'm gonna take, God, it's, such a, it's such a late game play. I think it's worth it though. This turn, we're basically just playing Phobos Space Haven. It would be nice to draw those cards with towing a comet, but I think it's better to just get Space Haven down. I don't know, that's close. These guys don't have a ton of cash, so I think I will still be able to get towing a comet down next turn. I mean, the Helion player, if he just passes the turn, will have a chance uh, to do it. This is going to be sweet when I get arrow breaking and, and the media group going. Man, that's going to be so good. The other advantage of playing Phobos Space Haven right now is that they they don't know that I have that combo yet. So it's one more generation that I might get past events. It's pretty unlikely once I play those two that these guys are going to be hooking me up with all the space events. Um, it, there is, I mean, it is good that I'm playing Helion and... Eco line because I, those are corporations that that I don't that don't usually place a huge emphasis on um, space cards. I mean Helion can, but Eco line not usually. So maybe they won't be competing with me. Let's go ahead and get Phobos Space Haven down.
All right. <clears throat> Healing had a nice start. Yeah, Nima. Yep. Um, I got uh, I got mining rights and just played Phobos Space Haven. Check this out. I've got arrow breaking and media group in my hand. So I'm I'm basically just gonna play. Uh, this is gonna just be every event I can grab. <laughs> Watch from now on. There won't be any. I think I should be set up to get some though. Ecoline, uh, Ecoline is unlikely to be taking all the space events. I mean, they might take them. They might hack them just so that they don't get their plants hit. But uh, Helion just has a nice, nice economy going here. Economy at eight. Not quite as good as mine right now. I've got an economy of thirteen. It's pretty good. <laughs> um, So yeah, it'd be great. I would love it next turn if I can play Comet and pick up these two cards. Um, because I really just want to, with the Jupiter strategy in general, you just want to pick up cards. I shouldn't really apologize for my Japanese. I don't speak any Japanese, so... Wonder what this guy's thinking about. Hopefully, he didn't disconnect. Nitrate reducing bacteria. Okay, I'm just gonna go pass here. <clears throat> And next turn, yeah, you know, I might have actually, that might have been a mistake. I might have wanted to play Media Group there or one of these cards so that I could just take an action and play Towing a Comet. Now it's going gonna, it's gonna to go all the way around the board. I still don't think it's super likely that these guys take that Ocean Spot. They don't have a, I mean, it's possible though. Pretty unlikely that the Ecoline player is going to do it. And the Helion player will have a crack at it before me anyway. So if they're going to do it, they're going to do it. Um, but I, I probably would have been a, better to just go ahead and play one of those down. Although, I don't know. I, I also still like just disguising it for another generation. The other thing is that if they're cutting Jovians from me, some of those event cards might make it through. It's hard to cut them all. Um, all right, well, this is not great. Fuel Factory is okay, but um, I guess it's, I don't know. Shuttles is also good, but we're so far away. I think I'll just take Fuel Factory for the time being. Shuttles might even wheel, depending on what these guys are doing. Okay, well, they're going to pass me Terraforming Ganymede. I'll take it. Um, man, these cards are good, though. I'm passing to Helion, however. All right, well, I'm going to take Ganymede. Surprised that made it to me. I wonder what else is in that, in that pack. I've got one Jovian, and I've got one in hand. I mean, another option would just be to hold off on media group and arrow breaking and just play beam, which is a pretty good, I mean, does a lot of things for me. Okay, well, power plant gives me, lets me turn on fuel factory. I do like, I mean, it would be good to take this event. But... This lets me get Fuel Factory. I think I'm gonna take Power Plant. Let's, let me just look at one other thing here. Yeah, we're not really competing for Builder. I'm gonna take Power Plant. If that were a space event, I would take it over the energy, but I think, I think, I think right now, Power Plant, Fuel Factory, Terraforming is where I wanna be. It's gonna be a little bit of a slower turn. 
again, but um, that's okay. I, I start the next generation, so I don't I don't have to get media group and arrow breaking down this turn. I I think it's still better just to build my economy. And so I'm gonna go power plant factory. Yeah, probably just power plant and factory. And then I will probably I'll just see what we get on the next draft. I might just play Beam. I, I don't love Beam. It's pretty expensive, but I am going to be making 12 a turn off Titanium. And it also bumps my economy one. So it's like three energy, three heat, and um, and uh, a bump to my economy or my mega credit. I lead off the next generation. Yeah, I don't know. It's a tough one. I do want to pick up these cards, but... Nine and two, 31. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that wasn't worth it. It cost me... It's going to cost me seven and nine, 16. I think it's still worth it. It's Gen 3, so it's still worth it. And it's two building tags, just in case that's relevant at some point. All right, let's see here. We're definitely gonna have an interesting decision next turn whether to go Media Group, Arrow Breaking, Comet, or play Beam. I, I'm kind of leaning towards this, um, in which case I would just go ahead and play Media Group, or yeah, I'd probably just play Media Group right now. Um, I think Media Group is the less threatening of the two and so I still might get a space event passed to me. Ooh, algae, man, algae is so good. That's probably what they took instead of terraforming Ganymede. That's a tough pick, and I think probably the correct one for, for them. I think I will play media group because I, I, I think I'm leaning towards taking this this payoff right there. Um, I mean it's it's interesting. I could just play beam next turn. It might it might just be better. But I do want to pick up those cards. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm just gonna play media group, and go for um, and go for the uh, go for the ocean tile next turn. The thing is, like, I I also want to disguise that I've got these Jovians. I mean, I I mean, it's not like it's a huge surprise. Somebody, you know, they can assume that I that I got those, but. I think media group is pretty innocuous. I don't like just on its own. I don't think people are going to be cutting events that much with that. Um, I think after I play arrow breaking, it, it's going to be... Well, the reason I did that, Darth, is that I lead off the next turn, and I want to play... Yeah, I do. I want towing a comment in my first action to make sure I lock up these cards. So that's, that's the reason I did that. Um, if I weren't going first next turn, I wouldn't have done that necessarily but 
since I'm locking up, since I'm deciding that's going to be my play, that's why I wanted to do that. All right. Um, let's see here. Vesta is perfect. That's sweet. That's a Jovian and a Titanium production. Um, so if we can pick up another multiplier, that will be very helpful. Um, I'm going to have to get my VP up a lot because Ecoline is going to have a lot of points on board. Not really set up for any of these milestones. That's Saturn system's biggest problem. And eco line is just gonna get a ton of plants down. <clears throat> wow, they passed Miranda Resort too, which is really good with some of the I think I have two earth tags already. Uh I do. Um Man, Noctis is great as well, considering that uh who am I passing to? Even down. Oh my gosh, I'm passing to eco line. I don't know. The problem is I'm passing to Ecoline. Uh, this guy's going to play Noctis City and then play a plant and a plant. I mean, this is like so good for him. Noctis City is insane for him right now. Um, I actually think it's Noctis City. The other thing is that this lets me compete for mayor. I mean, he doesn't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I mean, it's pretty good, but Nocta City, I think, is just better. I believe it or not. Um, the problem is, this is just so good for him. Miranda Resort is a total blank for everyone else. So I think I'm just taking Noctis there. That's a tough call, but. Um, the thing is, he's gonna play a bunch of plants in that area, and I can, I can, uh, I can go off of that. Yeah, I think you guys are wrong on that one. Um, it's a tough call, but um, like, think about how good this is for the eco line player. He picks up two plants. He makes four points off of greeneries right here, and picks up another three plants and can play another greenery. Like, uh, I think, I think that in in most situations it would be Miranda, but in this case, it's Noctis. Miranda bumps me two on my economy. Noctis bumps me three. But the value of Noctis is that I already know he's going to build a bunch of stuff around here. I can just hold it. And he doesn't, and the Ecoline player doesn't know I have it. The Helion player does know. Um, no, Miranda bumps me two. All right, so let's do Vesta for sure. Noctis for sure. Um... Yeah, but it doesn't, uh, Miranda doesn't bump you, like, it doesn't have an earth tag on it. Oh, no, you're, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you're right. You're, you're right. You're totally right, Darth. Um, I don't, I mean, Black Polar Dust could be good. Three heat production, I could get a lot. I think I'm going to hold off, though. I definitely don't want Artificial Lake. Yeah, I'm gonna just I'm not gonna play that one. Okay, so let's see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and play arrow breaking. And towing a comet and draw some cards. Man, that the eco line player is gonna get so many plants. Arctic algae is just so good. 
So good, played early. Oh, and that's perfect. We picked up another space event, which is awesome. Um, so we definitely want to get Vesta down this turn, and then I'll play I'll play this uh, space event next turn. I'll probably play Beam next turn, so I'll play Vesta Beam. There's no urgency on this space event now, and I might want to save it for later to put. Uh, it's gonna be so so long to get these animals onto fish, but uh, we shall see. Man, I'm gonna have a lot of titanium production this game. What's nice is that I do have a series of cards to spend it on too. Um, So I think I play Vesta this turn. Yeah, he just went over to the other side of the board. That's good too. Hmm. Interesting. Smart play. I guess. Uh, there's no way he could have known I have Noctis. So I guess he's just playing plants in place he can protect. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm definitely not set up for any of these milestones. I guess I guess the closest one I could go for would be Terraformer, since I have Terraform and Ganymede. If I could pick up another Jovian or two, I might I might get into the picture on that. And I know everybody's gonna start talking about Miranda Resort, but <laughs> I still think that was the right play. Um, I guess he doesn't have any power. That's the one thing, you know. But he would have had to do something for power. Okay, let's get Vesta down. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. That's a good point, 222. I'm, I'm kind of hoping to disguise Noctis a little bit. Uh, because once I play it here, he's not going to want to play plants over here. He's just going to, I mean, although his next series of plants is all going to be down here anyway. Um, I'm a little surprised by this play. Honestly, like, I mean, it's a, it ends up being a smart play, but I, I thought that he would go here and play a plant here or something like that. Um, I mean, this this cost him twenty five. So I think that's it for us this turn. Worth noting that we do we are going to have six plants if we play imported hydrogen. Um, so we could play an ocean tile on some plants and then pick up, we could actually have enough to play a plant over here, uh, which just pick up a card or something. It's actually not horrible. Um, all right, I'm gonna pass this generation. Yeah, so if we play imported hydrogen, um, we can, we'll have enough to play a, a plant over there. Although I'm, I'm somewhat inclined just to take these cards. Like I, I feel like where we are in this game, we just need to see a lot of cards because we have a, we have a really good setup depending on what comes our way. Okay, interesting. 
I don't think we have any science tags. I think I'm just taking corporate stronghold or a commercial district. Um, again, that's a, a, a smart play of keeping those cities apart with a commercial district. Actually, now, now I'm incentivized to play Noctis here because I can go Noctis and then play commercial district and then just kind of nerf this entire section for him. And that's pretty good for me. Um, and I might even just play that plant. Well, then I could play the plant here and put it next to my city. That's pretty good. So that that would in, that would um, incentivize me to go ahead and play Beam, so I have some energy. So I go Beam Noctis Commercial District. I wonder if I have enough to. I don't think I have enough for all of that. Um, so I'm passing up. I'm passing to this guy. I don't think I can pass him Extreme Cold Fungus because he's got the other thing going. I'll just take that from him. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get Mayor uh, 222. I mean, I think right now Ecoline is in the driver's seat for Mayor. Um, I mean, they're, they're going to be cash poor, so it might be hard for them to do it. We, we'll see. So let's see here. I've got 15 and 35. I have 50 all together. And I'm going to play Beam 32. Yeah, I won't have enough to play Noctis this turn. It'll have to be next turn. Um, well, now I've got enough for Indentured Worker. It's an event, too, so it's basically free. Um, yeah, I'm going to take it. I think that's actually worth it right now. It's eight credits. Um, that might allow me to play Beam Noctis this turn and put some pressure on the Ecoline player. I think it's worth the negative point. Let's. I mean, I could take Corporate Stronghold too, but. Uh, I'm going to take Commercial District, Indentured Workers. You know what I could actually do? I don't, I don't even have to play Noctis, I could just play Commercial District. Well, we'll see. Let's see here. No, Commercial is not a city. It's, uh, it's It doesn't count as a city. Twenty-one cash, free greenery. He might just take gardener right now. Landlord, interesting. It's probably a smart play. So, I'm going to start by playing Beam. Then I'm going to just consider my options. How many Jovians do I have right now? Two. So this will be my third. So Terraforming Ganymede is a bump of four to my Terraforming rating at this point. Maybe I'll try and beeline towards uh, 
terraformer. It's still pretty far away, though. I would love it if the Helion player put something on the board to contain the Ecoline player a little bit. Okay. It's pretty good. It does uh, give the Ecoline player a bunch of plants, but he's probably going to hit all those plants as well. Yeah, good play for the Helion player. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play Beam. And <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, Wolf. I'm not sure what my plans are yet. I just decided I would play this one today. Um, and then I'm going to skip and see what this guy does. I think it's probably better for me to get Noctis down because it puts me in the discussion for mayor um, rather than commercial districts, even though... Um, so I think I'm going to go indentured workers Noctis. What that means is that I, I could start the next turn by just playing a city and claiming mayor, which I think is probably worth it. Um, it's five points. The Helion player is going to be pushing hard towards Terraformer. I don't think I can catch him. Ecoline is going to get Gardener. Already has Gardener. So I think it probably, that's probably my best play. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, Okay, so next turn I'm going to have 32, 39, so I will be able to just buy a city and claim mayor. I think that's probably my first play next turn. It, it's not amazing. I hope that I draw like a better city because I do have enough power to make use of it. Like capital would be awesome. I could put it right here, uh, for example, uh, and play a good, a good greenery here. Um, so we'll just have to see what we get. Yeah, claims gardener. All right, and so next turn, imported hydrogen is going to be a free play for us because we'll have enough titanium to, to do it for free. I don't want to play a terraforming Ganymede yet. Um, so that'll be a good turn for us. We'll be able to, to claim mayor and get, uh, and get uh, a free ocean tile and a, and a greenery. I, th I think I'm more likely just to play the city here um, just to contain Ecoline a little bit. Like I, I just can't have them playing cities everywhere and just getting max points off of that. Okay. Interesting. So research outposts, not like amazing here, but 
I mean, one option would be to play outpost here and then play commercial district here. Although it's like, I'd rather use commercial district on their stuff. Um, industrial center is also pretty good. Which way am I passing? Even down, so I'm passing to eco line. It's pretty annoying. I, he's not gonna industrial center his own spot though. So I think I'm just taking research outpost. It's a cheap city. Um, it's not at its best in a in a space strat because we're not trying to play a ton of cards. Like part of me just wants to take Lagrange, but I think it's got to be research outpost. It's early enough in the game that that's going to be good. Interesting. So I'm passing. I always got to look at this. Even down. I'm passing to eco line. Well, that's not great. Um, tundra farming is really good. I think I just have to t hack tundra farming. His greenhouse is also really good for him, but. Uh, what am I going to do? Okay, so imported nitrogen. This is a card that could be great for me in the late game. It puts a couple animals on my thing, gives me a TR and four plants and three microbes. So I will keep that card. That's really, like, again, the space events are just so good for me because I get six credits off of them. So I will take this. And I'm going to take... I think Research Outpost is better than just Standard Project. So I'm gonna take those two. I could also take Tundra Farming. Um, that's a, I don't think I'm going there though. Will I have enough? I will have enough with 30 to claim mayor. I guess maybe I'll just take Tundra Farming too. Like it could be good. All right, I'll be right back. All right, Comet. Yeah, he's pushing hard towards Terraformer. Um, the question is going to be, where do I want to place? Where do I want to place this city? I think I'm just going to place it here. This gives me max. Well, I guess not really. I mean, you could still. This is sort of max board control, and it's also like a good. It's a good spot for just picking up bonuses here. It does cost me a point. And and. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm. I think I'm just gonna play it there, though. It's it's good there. All right, so we picked up the mayor. Let's 
let's see here. So I will be able to get imported hydrogen down this turn. And that is also going to be, um, give me a, uh, an oxygen bump. Hey Q. Um, I think it's pretty close right now. I'm. Um, I have a milestone. Yellow has a, a gardener. Or you have the yellow player eco lane has gardener and landlord. Um, yeah, Nima, I did get mayor. Um, Helion is up on us a lot on terraforming at the moment, but I think we're going to catch up there. Um, we have a really good engine going. We have media group and optimal arrow breaking. Um, which we haven't taken full advantage of yet, but we're, you know, planning to. And yeah, I, I think we're doing okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I kind of was a bummer passing him that one, but Tundra Farming just has two points on it as well. What's uh, what's OPS? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's close. I mean, he played it now. I think in the end, I think it ended up being about the same. Okay, let's see here. Let's get this imported hydrogen down here. And um, I could just take the card. I'm gonna have the three plants off of the off this thing. And I think I'm just gonna take the card actually. Whoops. <laughs> that was stupid. I forgot we were getting so close to the uh, to that oxygen bump. <laughs> I was not really paying attention to that. This is the problem with streaming is that like I if I'm not streaming, I'm not like reading the thing, I'm just paying a lot more attention. Um, <laughs> I know I, I that is true, but I, I'm hoping that the Ecoline player doesn't have a way to to take advantage of that. I will certainly do it if I have the opportunity, and it's pure luck uh, because I, it definitely wasn't good play. Um, <laughs> that's too funny. I should have just floated those. Uh, I should have. I should have not played that greenery this yet. I should have just waited a little bit. This guy's just like, what did he do? Like, is there any way that I can sell cards and play a greenery? <laughs> it's unlikely that this guy will be able to play something, although he does he does have eight steel. <laughs> See, he's got it. I'm so stupid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, that was, that was horrible. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I definitely play better when I'm not streaming. There's no doubt. It, it's very distracting. I make a lot of little things like that. Like, uh, the other day I was playing and just like played my cards all out of sequence with the space bonuses off of, uh, something or other. Um... Let's see here. Uh, 
Let's see here. Um, I might just try and get commercial district down. I could sell uh, could sell energy tapping, which I don't really think I, I want. Um, and just get uh, get commercial district down there. Maybe he's looking at trying to, yeah, I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and bump the heat. And let's see here. God, I don't, I don't like her herbivores either, but what's this thing do? So every time I play a plant, Uh, it's not very good. I'd much rather, much rather play. Well, I'm just gonna sell energy tapping here. Yeah, Ecoline is it has a is definitely doing well with that and in, in that respect. Man, that was stupid. I totally could have gotten that bonus. Um, Oh well. Whoops. Okay, so let's see here. So I want to. I think I'm gonna go ahead and play this commercial district now. I'm still gonna get a lot of cash out of it. I don't think it's gonna get much better than where it is now. And it's it it does like. I mean, it's not amazing playing something next to your own thing, but um, it's two points. It's fine. So I have three Jovians. This thing's worth four, five, six. I really do. I mean, my only consideration with herbivores is that it does let me play imported nitrogen a little bit earlier, but I, I guess it doesn't really matter. I can just save this. It doesn't, there's no, there's no benefit to me playing it now. Um, I definitely want to wait and just like basically get those animals on fish. I'm just kind of running out of cards. Um, What's nice is that landlord I should be able to get second on. Okay, so let's go ahead and play. Uh... Yeah, that's true, but uh... his plant production is already at eight, so I'm not sure it changes the equation all that much. Like basically he's getting a plant for free every turn. And if I bump his plant production down one, uh, it, it only, it doesn't really change that. Um, all right. Well, if I lose the game by one, uh, <laughs> I definitely deserve it. All right, hopefully I can pick up some Jovians here. I just have a lot of titanium production. Just want something to do with it. Um, well, that's, wow, man, convoy and asteroid mining. I actually think convoy is better here because um, I can put all these points on fish. Yeah, I think I think it's I think it's convoy here. Mechnic like asteroid. I mean, 
I think this might this is probably not gonna wheel. Somebody will cut it, but you could be right. I mean it's a Jovian tag, so I have one multiplier. This is worth three points. This one is worth six and draws me two cards. Potentially seven. What's nice about taking Convoy is that this is also a space event, which I get six cash back for because of my media group and arrow breaking. The other thing is that passing mining, people might think I'm just, since it's the second Jovian I've passed, people might just think, well, he's off it and I might end up getting past something else, like a multiplier. I think I'm taking Convoy. That's a close one, but uh, Convoy is just, it's gonna be really good with all those. It's, 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 it's a seven point play, uh, potentially. It's most likely six. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get it down before that. Um, like if I got Livestock or something, There wasn't, I can't, I'm like already like forgetting what was in that, what were the other two cards. It's it's almost, it's almost uh, assured that I won't get that back, but. Um, okay, now Regolith Eaters, I do have um, imported nitrogen. Will I be able to get two bumps out of it? I'm gonna take the regular theaters there. I might even play that card. If I if I can get two bumps out of the auction out of it, it's pretty good. Um, shuttles was gonna be that's gonna be good for me. So one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five cities. <laughs> Didn't get it back. All right, I'm definitely taking Convoy. Question is, I mean, maybe I do want to play Herbivores. Maybe I go Herbivores, Regolith Eaters, and Imported Nitrogen. So what if I take the if I take these two I should have enough for all of that. Yeah, I'm going to take shuttles too. I mean it's 2 points for 30. I don't know, maybe it's not worth it. Um I think it's going to end up being 2 or 3 in this game. I mean I I, I do need I do need to have some stuff to play on. Uh, I do need a space card to play. So let's say if I do this, this is going to leave me 45. So I can play Regolith Eaters, Herbivores, and Imported Nitrogen. Yeah, I think, I think it's good. I think I'm going to take that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with... I got to get these two cards down before I play Imported Nitrogen. So I'm going to go ahead and play herbivores. It's it's it'd be 1 point it's it's 1 point less off of fish. I'm going to save convoy for fish. I think I think imported nitrogen now is great because I'm going to get two bumps out of regular theaters, which is really good cannibalizing the oxygen from the ecoline player. So I, I think it's worth it. Um, I'm gonna play this one. I don't know, it's, it's close. Sh 
shoot, am I not going to have enough? I may have done that calculation wrong. It's fine. I can just do it next turn. It's not like I have to do it this turn. Um, let's skip here. No, I have. I think I still. Well, no, I'm a little short. So this is seven fifty. No, I have exactly enough to do it all this turn. I have exactly enough to do it all. Yeah, that's going to be a good turn for me because I'm going to bump the oxygen twice because uh, I'm going to get to play a plant too. And I'm going to bump the heat. So I'm going to start catching up here on uh, on the TR rating. Yeah, the way the cities are set up right now, I think the eco line player. Two twenty two. I'm not sure about what's your calculation there. I'm not understanding that. I may only end up getting one one bump out of out of uh, regolith eaters, unfortunately. I don't know. It's it that's a that's a close call. That that might have not been worth it. Okay, so purple player. That's I'm glad the purple player is doing that. Um, so again, just containing. <laughs> Man, that's a sick play. <laughs> Good for him. Um, good for him. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to go ahead. I'm still going to do it. I, I'm going to do it. I think, I think it's worth it. And I'll wait until next turn so that I can do, um, I can play my plant right away too. That, that might not have been worth it. I'm not sure. Um, I think that the, I think the, li uh, the um, I think herbivores is okay. It's going to end up being three point or two points. Um, but I'm not sure about the, uh, not sure about the other one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did pass him that card early. I can't remember what I took, but it, it was, um, I think it was like Vesta or something like that. Man, the Ecoline player is just ridiculous plants. But the thing is, he doesn't have a great place to play them right now. Um,. Yeah, I kind of wish the Helion player had just like kind of played out in, into an open zone. It's a good play for him. He got his milestone. All right, so let's go ahead and let's play imported nitrogen now. And let's go ahead and place this city here and just pick up some more cash. How many points does this guy have on cards? Just two. I still think I'm doing okay here, but the Ecoline player is gonna drop a gazillion plants. <laughs> I 
I know. That's gross. It's not going to be four turns. I think this game's going to end on ten. Um, the way that this is going, I think it's going to end pretty quickly. Um... So I'm glad that I took uh, immigration shuttles because I am going to be in the situation in this game where I think I'm just run, running out of things to spend my titanium on. Um, so like next turn, if I don't if I don't draw any like space events or anything that I want to play, I'll probably just run the the shuttles out. I know, I know, but fish is going to be primarily for. Uh, um, convoy so it's still gonna it's gonna carry six points all right so let's bump the heat here and let's go ahead and get an oxygen bump um I don't. It's unfortunate. I don't think I'm actually going to get two bumps out of that regular theaters because the eco line player is going to snap it all up, um, unless I get a card that lets me place a microbe on him next turn. It's not gonna. It's not gonna do it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, I mean, another option is that I could just fire off convoy soon. Like I can put the four. I lose two points off of not playing it on fish, but I gain a point by being able to get that ocean tile as a, as a bonus. It might be worth it just to do it that way and not play fish, honestly. Um, in fact, I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, that might just be better. Just skip fish. We'll just have to see what we get. Um, what I like about playing fish or uh, convoy is that I kind of want to draw those cards right now because okay let's see here farming flooding And research and I'm passing down to Ecoline man I think I'm just gonna take farming. Research is pretty good, but I think I'm just gonna take farming. All right, let's see here. So, I don't really care about any of those. I think I'll just take sabotage so somebody doesn't hit me. Cupola is not doing anything. This guy's not doing anything. I'll just take that. In case somebody picked up research, okay, I'm I'm kind of leaning towards just firing off the convoy here and putting them all on herbivores. I'm gonna have to wait so long for fish, and I do want to get that ocean placement bonus, or just get the get the ocean down. I want to get the points for that. So I'm gonna take farming, and that's it. I hope that I have an opportunity to do so. Um, He needs to build a city somewhere. Hmm. If 
feel like this game is pretty close right now. This is a really nice play for that for this player. Um, but I kind of wish he had played that city just out into open space just to contain like the Ecoline player if they get he's he's de he wants to play a city down probably somewhere over here like here. And once he gets a second city down, he's going to be kind of off to the races. I don't have we, like the two main disruption cards are already out. I could have saved this, but it generated me a lot of cash early. Alright, it should be second on Landlord. I guess the question is what other things do we want to fund? There's nothing else that really... Yeah, okay. Well, it'd be... It'd be amazing if... Uh... Like, if this guy just plays a city right here, it'd be so good. I, I hope he does that. Um, although it's not entirely clear to me that the Ecoline player... I mean, I think the Ecoline player probably is a little ahead at this point. This is all even. He's up five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is a 10 point area right here, 15, 16, 17, yeah, I mean Ecoline I think is winning right now. <laughs> well, I mean Ecoline also got their plan production up to uh, 13, so that's pretty good. Uh, they've had a good game. I've had a good game too, I mean I don't, I don't think it's... Um, I think it's been bad, but okay. Thermalist, that's good for me too. I think I should get second in Thermalist. All right, so let's see here. A little bit of a tough call. Like, do I want to just fire off this convoy now? Another option would be to place it here, pick up two plants. That would give me three. And then I pick up, I could pick up five here. The plant itself is is worth an oxygen bump, cannibalizing it from eco line, and gives me it'd be a three point play. One, two, three. Yeah, I think I'm firing this off, and I, I actually think I'm just gonna take plants, which is weird, but um Yep, I'm just going to take these plants. I'm going to play an oxygen bump right now. I think the regular theaters was a mistake in retrospect. Um, so let's see here. Just play this guy. Where do I want to play it? All right, um, let's see what we drew. Catapult and Power Supply Consortium.
Yeah, I don't think Ecoline is is terrible. I I just find Ecoline to be uh, boring um, to play. I don't really. I just don't really like playing it that much. So we need to make sure we position ourselves for second on Thermalist. Ecoline has six, so we may not actually do this oxygen bump or heat bump. Um, So maybe we get shuttles down now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It looks like I think we're gonna get to three points on on immigration shuttles. So I think I'll just go ahead and do that now. I mean, another option would just be to start buying. Um, I could buy an ocean tile. It's it's pretty cheap. Just get that get that last one down. Zeppelins, okay. Um, I don't have any more space events to bank on in terms of getting second on Thermalist. I think I'm gonna hold off on that. Um, I mean, I guess the Ecoline player is at, he has six. There's no real benefit to firing off terraforming right now, Ganymede, because I get more money production out of this. I know, I kind of want to like... I'm at 14 and Helion's at 14. Like if he ha if he goes for banker, should I should I wait? The other thing is if I wait a turn, I can use all this titanium on it. It cost me five credits to do so. That would argue for just firing off Ganymede then. Because I can do this and not tip my hand on immigration shuttles and get about the same cash back. But if I draw another Jovian. Well, the comment that 222 is saying is like maybe Helion's going for Banker. And if I hold back shuttles, uh, he might fund it. Um, which I might have a chance of getting it. I've got seven more production or uh, MC production. If he's going to fund it, it's probably likely that he's got. Uh, um, more ways to bump the oxygen or the um, his MC production. That's a tough call. I'm just gonna go ahead and play the Ganymede here. Uh, maybe I'll just pass. Can't fund Miner. I'm just gonna pass. It cost me five credits, but I have so much cash. Um, Yeah, that's true, Darth. Um, that is true. I can't remember what I took out of that one with research. There was I remember that being a pretty good pack altogether. Um, I did cost myself five credits there, but I don't know. If this if this game doesn't end next turn, part of the reason I did that is that 
I've only got two big space cards left, and I'm gonna have 10 titanium over the next two generations. Ah, oh, that's annoying. That one is annoying. It's a good card for him. Man, nobody ever plays that card except for the computer. Um, that one, that's actually going to end up being a big play because he's going to, it's a four point swing on that because he's going to take. Uh, that might even be worse than that. He's gonna get two. He's gonna get three points out of it. Oh man, it's so annoying. Um, nothing I can really do about that. Alrighty. This one's winding up. Not sure. This guy's waiting on. I mean, I guess I could just play a city out here too. Yellow is getting to the point where they don't have a ton of places on the board to put stuff. So if I if I just played a city here, you'd have to. I guess he could play here. He still plays city here. Might be able to compete for Thermalist too, depending on what I draw here. Big asteroid. That is nice. Um, and it hit some plants. Yeah, I'm definitely taking that one. That one's great. Space event. I might actually be able to win Thermalist. Let's see here. Well, he's making 11 a turn, unlikely, I guess. Um, yeah, big asteroid sweep for me. Hit some plants. Gives me two to my TR. Gives me six cash back and four titanium. It's basically free, so that's a good draw. Man, that Predators is so annoying. He really got me with that. That's one problem, I guess. I didn't I didn't really think of I almost never play Predators. That's one problem with herbivores is that you just tip your hand to it so early. Whereas if you play fish, you're you're disguised. You know, like people don't know it's coming and they don't have time to make predators good. I never really thought about that, but um, that was a good play for the yellow player. <clears throat> Must be a tough pick here. Hmm. 
There's catapult. Odd is up, so I'm passing to Helion. I think I'm just taking the catapult there. I don't. Th I might even play that. I mean, uh, let's see here. All right, uh, definitely taking the asteroid. The question is, do I, am I going to play catapult? I mean, I'm planning to play one, maybe one, two, maybe one. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll take the catapult. Twenty-five for two credits or for two points. Maybe it's just not worth it. I might just be better off just buying a city and trying to contain Ecoline. Um, yeah, I think I'd rather just have a city. It's close. gonna take one um, that could be a mistake I don't know earth catapults pretty good but better in the beginning all right so what do I want to do here I think I am gonna play a city down here and just try and just try and get in there a little bit I mean I could also go like I could just go like city city and just completely try and like Um, this is what I've got. I'm thinking... <laughs> no, I, I waited. Okay. Well, now I can get that last ocean bonus. Um, that's the only one. So I'm going to go ahead and do big... I'm going to take this ocean bonus. Let's get a big asteroid down here. Um, actually, I'm going to make sure I'm, not, I'm doing this in the right order. Yeah, okay. And we're going to hit eco line. And let's go ahead and I think the heat bump here is safe. He's going to be eco line's going to be at 8. I'll be at uh 7 8 9 10. Yeah, I'm going to take the one heat bump here. Um and I don't think I need plants at this point. I just need cash. Let's take this guy up here. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, milestones are one, one, one. Um, Right now, Landlord, uh, Ecoline player has Landlord locked. I should be second. Thermalist, I should be second. Yeah, it should be 545. Five. Yep. Yep. No, that's that's right, Q. And I'm, I'm still thinking the Helion player, I mean, he did have to spend a lot to lock up. Uh, I mean, he just played Soleta to lock up Thermalist. Pet. 
pets. Interesting. Pretty late for pets. Honestly, it might just be better for me to end the game. Like, I could just buy four asteroid bumps um, and end it. Like, that might actually be the best. Particularly now that that guy just bought a city. I've got three, I think. I'd have to do the math, but like, Ecoline is generating 13 plants per turn, so it's like... These city, like every every generation, is just gonna let him score a bunch of points as he starts putting cities down. So one, two, three, four, sixteen. So I would need 56 to buy all the heat out. I think I think Helion's going to bump the heat once. Okay, that's sweet. I'm glad the uh, I'm glad Helion did that. Okay. Yeah, I agree, Q. It's worth it's worth seeing what happens here. Man, that Predators is annoying. So if I can get one more plant on. So once these guys pass, we can just do some math and see if we're see if we're where we are in this game. I think I don't think we're winning right now. So um, Well, yep, that's true. Do I'm not going to need this power for anything. I'm just going to sell this power supply consortium. I don't need uh So let's see here. So if I play um, 
the to bump the standard projects four times is going to cost me 40 56 It's going to cost me 56 credits. I've got uh, 81 plus 4 titanium. So 56 Yeah, so the, in that case we're just we're going to lose no matter what. Um I mean, basically, right. And if I get, if I buy these four, I'll be at sixty-three, and then terraforming Ganymede is going to give me another six points. Uh, so they'd be at sixty-nine. I, I think it's, I think it's, it's over. I, I needed the Helion player to bump that. Although I don't think he can. I, I think yeah, he he did bump it. Um, Let's see here. I think we I think it probably is good for us to spend another turn like we're making a lot of money um, we have a lot of points on cards I think it's I think you're probably right Q let's go ahead and let's just play let's go ahead and play tundra farming and let's go ahead and play immigration shuttles now that's a three-pointer I agree. I think it's too risky at this point. I mean, he. So I think we. I think we wait. I mean, the thing is, there's no other good ones. Like I don't think the other people are gonna fund them. Um, it's too risky. So I think I can just wait and see what happens on that. Yeah, Zeppelins was used. Uh, I'm gonna bump the heat once and get fish going. I think that's good. Well, I'm going first next turn, so I can always I can see what cards I get before I do that. Um, I don't have enough. I don't have enough to play farming and fish right here. I'm I'm off a couple couple cash here. Definitely have a lot of cash, and there's some haymakers that could come my way here. Let's see, uh, see what we get here. Mohole, that's interesting. I gotta make sure I get second on. He's at eight. I'm gonna be at fourteen, fifteen. 9, 10, so Mohold doesn't do it for him, so I'm okay there. Um, probably just Space Station. I'm 
Yeah, probably just space station. I mean, I could consider restricted area, but I think just space station's better. It's a point. At this point, we just need points. Convoy doesn't do it. Steelworks, physics complex don't do it. Let's make sure these guys don't have any energy. Well, it doesn't really matter. Huh, these cards are not. Uh, all the oceans are out. Oh, here we go. Business contacts. That's a tough pick. I think I think I might rather take business contacts. It's an event, so I get it. It only costs me six. I think at this point I can do better than Noctis farming. I think I'd rather have business contacts. Like there's some cards in there that just like absolutely crush. I'm gonna go with business here. Noctis is a cheap point, Noctis farming or whatever, but. I'm gonna take these two. I don't think I'm taking restricted area. <laughs> O'Malley wants me to fund banker. All right, well, why don't we do business? Why don't we do business contacts to lead off and just see what we get? Ecoline has zero cards. Helion has two cards. We're at 21 and he's at 14. And let's look at space cards. So I've got five space tags. Ecoline has none. So he could get a bump of five with uh, satellites or whatever, toll station. That would take him to 19. And then he's got two for uh, space station or... Uh, I think I think we're safe on most of the big most of the big bumps. And I'm going to have two more with farming. Yeah, if I was going to fund scientist, I should have taken uh I should have taken restricted area. I could, I should have thought about that, honestly. How many cards does Helion have? Three? Yeah, that might have been safer. Well, why don't I just why don't I just start with business contacts and just see what I get? Because if I get another science tag, I could just let's see here. So asteroid mining um, actually is gonna, would be fine. I don't think these guys have titanium production, but it doesn't matter. I can hit my own here. And I could just take GHG as a hedge on uh, Thermalist. Let's see here. I'm going to have three, four, five. If I took that one, and now I'm going to get four more out of farming. No, uh, farming does it for me. I've got four here, so I think I'm good. So I think I'm gonna take GHG. All right, I'm gonna fund. Uh, I'm gonna fund banker. It's risky. Yeah, it's possible, but I did pass research at one point, and I don't have another. I don't have another one, so I don't know. It's close. It's definitely close. I mean, Helion only has three cards, so
Okay, I like that. I guess he doesn't see me as a threat. <laughs> I know. That's that's a no respect move right there. All right. So let's see here. Can we bump this heat? Eco line has, is going to end with 10. If I bumped the heat, I would be at 3-3-1. Three, three, I'd have to play Mohol. Um, I don't think it's worth it. I'd rather play this stuff. Yeah, GHG. That's what I meant. Um, Well, let's, let's just add this up here. I definitely want to play farming because um, it gets me another plant and it's two points. So it's worth it's that's essentially a four point play right here. So if, I, if I'm going to add all this up, it's 32. It's uh, this is three, four, 44, 59, uh, 68. And I've got so I have enough to pay for all of it. Um, I'm going to get a discount of two, so I need 57. I think I can play it. So I think I bump the heat. Let me just make sure on this. Hold on. So equal line is going to be at 10. And if I spend eight, I'll be at three, three, one. And then exactly... Yeah, I think I'm gonna spend the eight heat. And then I'm gonna go ahead and play Space Station. Man, he cobbled together a lot of VP. I like that Predators play. He got Predators on me, which is really gonna be annoying. Um, the, what's nice is that the, what's great about Banker is that the Helion player is going to be second, or or I'm going to be, or I'll be second, <laughs> but it won't be it won't be this guy. So I think we're going to this has been a good game. I'll play farming last just to make sure I don't screw that up. Yeah, I don't think Helion's going to be able to compete because they don't have anything on the board and they don't have any VP. Um, I think I'm still getting second on Landlord. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, this one could come down to awards. Just the fact that uh, Ecoline um, is is not going to be second on any of those is, is just really beneficial for me. Yeah, Helion has no VP. So I think I think Helion's out at this point. Nice. <laughs> He's just putting the net down. I think that means that I'm going to get banker cuz I think he would have had to play something else there. Um And <laughs> uh, 
This one did nothing. <laughs> um, all right, let's see what his last play is. I, I want to slow roll the uh, GHG just so that he, he does something else besides... Uh, Like if if he has a card that bumps his heat, maybe he'll his, he just thinks he has it. <laughs> well, I mean that's the most expensive point in the history of the game. <laughs> uh, I mean I liked it. He has flair. I mean, he's just like, why not? Just like 50, 50 credits for a point. I mean, it's something I would certainly do. I respect it. I respect that play. This city right here, I respect this city. This is where I want to live, right here. I love O'Malley. He's just like, that did nothing. <laughs> hey, oh yeah. Hey, Private, I still I still have the game that you crushed us in. I'm going to post that one pretty soon. All right. Used all my actions. So let's go ahead and play Mining Consortium. You just post them on Twitch, private? Private if you uh if you if you promise to be nice to people on this on uh on your stream and it's good quality, uh you can post it on our YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel? Yeah, that's right. Um, Private, are you in Europe? I thought you were in. I thought you were in the United States. Huh. Yeah. Um Well, better than creating cardboard from Europe would just be to uh post them on our on our YouTube. We could make different channels for different people. But there has to be a certain level of decorum. Uh, let's see here. So we have 18. Huh, I guess I did the math wrong. We don't have enough for GHG. Um, and farming. Let's see here. 
That's unfortunate. I think I have to play. Yeah, I did the math like really wrong on that. I don't know how I, how that happened, but. Well, the thing is, the thing about uh, the other one is that it, it locks me up for, uh, I mean, it's a two point swing in the other direction. I think it's better. You think, you think so? I'm gonna get second on Thermalist now, that was stupid. Yeah, we did, we did the math wrong. Six, seven, uh... Are you guys sure that farming is better? Because basically it's two points... No, you're right, it's, you're right. Well, no, because I, I, I'm gonna lose two, he's gonna gain two. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same. But then landlord, I guess it gives me another thing. That's unfortunate. That was a that was poor play on my part. Now watch him have like an asteroid or something to hit my plant, like virus. Yeah, that was, I shouldn't have played, uh, I shouldn't have played Asteroid Mining. All right, let's see what happens. I won't lose a tiebreaker on cash. I think I got that locked up. All right, so just adjacent to one of my cities here. Yeah, I don't want to give Helion any more points. Just to show you can do it. <laughs> That's just like the total. <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot about herbs too. I I uh, I think I think I got the fourth one on there, so that makes tender farming better. I forgot about it. Um, you know, this guy has uh, the eco line player had. Uh, um, Predators, which he got three, he got three points off me on that. It's like unbelievable, like the best predators ever. Um, all right, moment of truth. Then I'll uh, I'll stop the recording here, and then we can we can just chat for a second. Alrighty, awards, we all got awards and milestones, we're even. Oh my gosh, <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> oh man. That is awesome. We won on a uh, tiebreaker. <laughs> oh man, that is that is that was great. That was awesome. Um, wow, farming did it, man. Farming did it because if I had played, if I had played the other one, um, we would have uh, we would have come up one point short. That herbivore herbivores got it. <laughs> well, also. Also remember, I spotted him a point by by just completely whiffing on uh, on that oxygen bump, like just making the stupidest play there. Um, wow, that's a good one. That'll be fun to post. That was a good game. Um,
<laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm just going to turn the recording off here uh, for those of you watching on the YouTube channel. Uh, that was a great game. Leave your comments, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.